Hey there, Nick Offers. This video is brought to us from our friends over at Laundry Disc Golf. If you get a chance, why don't you head over to their website, check that out. They've got some awesome hats, uh, shirts, all different kinds of apparel and stuff on there. And make sure you stay tuned to the middle of the video because we're going to be giving away one of their hats on the episode today. So enjoy the Ben Askram interview and we'll get right to the action. Do you want to watch more awesome videos? We know you do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, turn on that notification bell so that you're notified every time we post new videos here at Underground Interviews. Hey there, disc golfers. We are back here. We've actually got a really exciting interview for you. Maybe you've heard of this guy. Maybe you haven't. He actually just came off of a really big fight, um, and he throws Frisbees, which is really exciting. So this is Ben Askren. Ben, thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing well. How about you guys? Doing pretty good. I'm uh, enjoying the warm weather. I was actually just with Wes a couple days ago in Michigan and got snowed on on my trip yeah. back to Moline. Uh, how are you, Wes? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, we've had Paul, we've had Yulian, we've had uh, some big disc golf names, but this is kind of, uh, I know you disc golf, but our, our first branch out of disc golf a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, but... just treat me like I'm a disc golfer and we'll all be good. Oh, uh, perfect. <laughs> uh. All right, well, let's get us started with our first question here then. Yeah, well, I imagine uh, first off, we're probably going to have a lot of non-disc golf viewers, UFC fighters, or uh, UFC fans, MMA fans that know you from that yeah. arena so you know kind of in a few words can you explain to them what disc golf is and why you enjoy it so much sure uh you know what i, I always say it's simple because everybody knows golf obviously uh you started a, a usually a cement tee pad you have a, a disc which is a smaller frisbee uh and then there's a basket and the goal is to get in the basket as many shots as possible and the reason i think it's much better than it's much superior to regular ball golf is that it generally only takes an hour to an hour and a half to play, unless you have some, yeah. some reason you have a large group or you're really, really slow. And for the most part, most places in the Midwest where I live are free. Yeah. I think that's one of the big benefits to disc golf versus, you know, traditional golf is that it's free. Uh, you go out, you buy, buy a couple of Frisbees, you get your, uh, your force, your buzz, your challenger, uh, get out to the course and, uh, you know, 30, 40 bucks in, you're out playing. Yeah, exa exactly. And that, you know, that was kind of what drew me to it. Cause I, you know, when I started, I kind of got hooked and I was, I was out there like every single day, dude, if I was playing real golf, I would have been broke like a joke. Yeah. right. <laughs> so your, your wrestling and your fighting career, it's pretty well documented. You can kind of, if you look up your name on Google, that's going to be the first thing that pops up. Um, how yep. did disc golf get started in that mix for you? Uh, well, I played a couple times in high school and then, uh, you know what? I played in uh, I, my bunch of guys went to college and started playing and I, I just got hooked and I got kind of an addictive personality. So I started <laughs> I started playing all the time. I, I, I traveled a lot. So I traveled. Uh, I traveled and played. So I had two goals. By the time I was 30, I was going to play 750 disc golf courses and I was oh. going to achieve a, a 1000 ranking. And I got I got a 996 ranking. And I did get the 750 disc golf courses. So, uh, you know, it's, Done, done quite a bit of disking over the years, traveling. I kind of played almost everywhere in the United States. Uh, and, yeah, so I love disc golf. Is there a place that you've played outside of the U.S. that you really love to? Um, really, the only place outside the U.S. Uh, that I've played is Vancouver, which is yeah, it's close enough to the U.S. You know, it's, it's a rock skip and a jump. Uh, I went to Asia a lot, obviously, and there's not really any disc golf in Asia. It's real, really, really unfortunate. Um and so that, that was the majority of my travel. And so, no, I haven't really played too much internationally, unfortunately. Oh, man. Well, you know, you had a great uh, amateur career with disc golf. And it, it seems like there's some people in the world who are just good at everything they do. Uh, you know, for, for you, in wrestling, obviously, you had a, you know, a well-documented wrestling career, MMA, UFC, disc golf as well. So kind of getting in the mind of Ben Askren here for a second, what is it that really, you know, makes you tick, that makes you so successful? Sure. Uh, well, I, th I think success is a formula, uh, and there's a lot of components in that formula. But once you figure out how to do it one time, you just kind of apply the same principles, and you do it over and over. The problem is some people, once they have success once, they feel a sense of entitlement, like people should just give it to them the next time. And success is never, ever, ever given. And so I would say, um, you know, there's a lot of things that made me go to disc golf, but the one thing that kind of put me over the top, I, I was really an obsessive player. I played a lot. And I decided to start playing in tournaments just because I like to compete. And I played in tournament on Copper Mountain in Colorado. And, uh, dude, I can't tell how many times I hit the basket and the freaking <laughs> disc rolled down the hill. And then it takes, like, two or three more shots. And so I got killed. And I remember thinking, like, these dudes suck. 
And I'm losing just because I can't putt. So the next day I bought a basket, and then I would just putt incessantly outside. And I think, um, you know, that would ended up being uh, a lot of my success was because I putt I putted so well because I got the basket in my front yard. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, Wes. This seems like a great time to do a giveaway. So yeah. for all of you viewers out there, we're gonna have you comment down below. What other sports Ooh, you play nice. besides disc golf? Let us know what your other hobbies are, what other sports you do, and any anything that you do to keep free time together. Just let us know about that. I've got a cool uh, hat here from Wander Disc Golf that I want to give away. They're a new nice. uh, support to the channel, so it's awesome to have them on board. And I think, Wes, you've got a couple. Uh, yeah, couple I got two. One of our, uh, we had Paul McBeth on at one point. I know Paul McBeth nice. is a big UFC fan and a big fan of yours as well. So we have this beautiful new ESP Paul McBeth buzz oh, that we're going to give away. And I think we got a second disc, Pat, if we can get to, what was it, 200, 200 likes on our video? 200 likes on the video, we'll give away the second disc. What's the second one? Nice. Yeah. We got a Paul P. McBee force here with a nice little sunset stamp, a little smoky force. So that, one's that was Paul awesome. doing big... Paul's doing big things this year. Obviously, you're doing big things too, Ben. So yeah, so like yeah. I tried to. I'm I'm trying to convince Paul to come up. I'm building a course on my property. We got nine holes built last summer. Nice. Um, we got a few more kind of cut out, but aren't done yet. Um, so I think he comes back to the Midwest maybe in June or something. So hope, hope yeah, he's, here, he's here in the Quad Cities there. now. I know. Uh, well, I, yeah, seen, well, I told him that 18 holes wasn't done yet, so <laughs> he's going to wait and come up. I seen that uh, one of my buddies was out there. Corey Ehlers actually got an ace out there. He's from the Quad City. That's your buddy? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's from yeah, yeah, my dad. and stuff together. So, yeah. We, oh, that's funny. Yeah, you know what's so funny? He threw this – um and I can't tell that he meant to do it, but he threw this <laughs> shot, and it was like – uh, I mean, I honestly, I built the course last year. I've probably played, and it was like late last year that I finished. I mean, I probably played 30 times on it. And he threw this shot, and it was to this one side of the tree. And when you look at it, it's like, oh, you're just going to get knocked down. There's a whole bunch of brush there. And there's this opening that you can't see from the tee box. So now since he threw that ace, I've been throwing that line, and I've been getting a, a whole bunch of birdies on a hole that I hadn't birdied before. So nice. yeah, I, I, uh, I owe him the, a line there. <laughs> That's All right. awesome. So let's let's like let's go into the future a little bit here. So when the time comes that you're ready to get out of the ring and you're not going to be in the ring anymore, do you see yeah. yourself pursuing disc golf a little bit more as more of a like hobby career kind of style or? Um. Well, I, I not a career. Uh, definitely not a career because uh, it would take me a long time to be good enough to make enough money at that. Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping that you know now I've disc golf course my property. I'm hoping my kids get into it. If my kids get into it and I can take them to disc golf tournaments, then I'll have a reason to go to the disc golf tournament. Then I'll have a reason to play. But, nice. you know, until we get to that point um, with my academy and everything else going on, I kind of see it hard for myself to, you know, ditch my kids for a couple of days to go play in a tournament. But so I'm hoping they get, a, get they get the bug, too. They get addicted. And then we got reasons to kind of travel as a family and go do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Hey, uh, real quick, I've actually got somebody that just walked in the door. And oh, yeah? you're not going to be able to see him on video because of the way this is, okay. but you're going to be pretty familiar with him. Ben, why don't you come over here and have a seat? You can sit in the, I'm throwing you right in the hot seat here. Oh, wonderful. So oh, wonderful. Ben, Ben Askren can't see you. This is Ben I, Calloway. I think you up, remember dude? him from, uh, how's it going? Your guys' time in, uh, what was it? Am Nats together? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. It was back in, uh, 2011 Am Nationals. Yeah. So yes, I wanted sir. to bring you guys together cause it's been, it's been a few years and you guys, uh, you're still disc golfing and now Ben, uh, the other Ben Askren, he is, uh, well, I'm still disc golfing. Incredibly. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, I mean, was that the last sanctioned tournament you played? I don't really. I played so in 2012. I had my so I was, I, 2011. I had no, I hadn't had a kid yet. 2013, I had my first kid. In 2012, I played in a couple local tournaments. I actually played in the pro division, um, but you know, had had a moderate success. I, I, that was 11. We started our wrestling academy, so that was kind of when I started getting more busy with that. So yeah, I, ha I haven't played a tournament in a whole bunch of years now. It's unfortunate. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, I just I just thought it was kind of surreal when uh, I, I didn't get to see your fight live with Lawler, but I, I got to see a lot of the post uh, the day after in your interview. He was a he was a Quad Cities guy, so you guys were probably sad. Well, <laughs> yes, and, yes and no. I mean, it was it was definitely uh, you know a bittersweet moment because you know Team Discraft, you I was rooting for you, but yeah, Robbie Lawler, Bettendorf guy, so I was kind of like I don't know really <laughs> what to do here. Uh, that's um, funny. But yeah, it was just kind of strange, you know, uh, interviews popping up and then they talked about the tournament that you played back, you know, seven years ago, eight years ago. Yep. And then I see my name above your name. I'm like, oh my God, I made it. 
<laughs> and then uh-huh. the UFC. That's funny. Yes. But it, you know, obviously it's not really that substantial. But it was still pretty cool to see that. So did you just play in a tournament last weekend? Uh, not last weekend. No, my tournament is this weekend with uh, the Rumble of the Quad Cities. Oh, oh, I thought the Quad Cities was. Oh yeah, you're right. It was this coming weekend. Nice, yeah. nice. Sorry. Yeah, Jonesboro was last weekend. This past weekend. Nice. In Arkansas. But yeah, you know, I heard that you were doing this interview, and I, I just had to jump in because you know it's been <laughs> eight years since I've seen you, and uh, the last time we saw each other was on the disc golf course in Michigan. So Absolutely. I just had to stop by and say, "What's up?" <laughs> yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> Great to talk to you. Yeah, you as well. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, it was it was fun to see. Uh, you know that when you started talking about disc golf a little bit more, they started bringing back you know Am Nats, Am Worlds, and the fact that you kind of played disc golf a little bit more and and, uh definitely around the disc golf world sort of sparked some more interest and i think even outside the disc golf world you know people that are ufc fans were like oh you know what is disc golf what what does ben have to do with disc golf yeah i think i I mean disc golf is just uh man it's a sport that anyone can play it's just such a uh a fun game um and so yeah i mean I, i obviously i've encouraged not just like through online stuff but you know literally taking people to the course giving them some discs and uh, so hundreds and hundreds of people over the years. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, sweet. So we, uh, our final question, we have, uh, we always do some rapid fire questions at the end and we definitely want to get to those. So our, uh, kind of our final question here, you know, tell everybody about your next fight and let everybody know how they can support you this year. Yeah. I, uh, I fight July 6th in Las Vegas again. Uh, it's a guy, I guess a guy named George Masvidal. Should be a good fight. He's ranked fourth. I'm ranked fifth. I mean, I think I'm biased, but I think I'm going to win pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> and, and that's that. And so hopefully, you know what? I got a lot of work on the disc golf course at my house this week. I'm hoping to have 18 holes done probably like in a month or so, maybe. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I know Paul's going to be around uh, kind of in the Midwest, the June, June, July kind of swing, I think it is. You got Ledgestone and then uh, CCR Open up here in Michigan and then Great Lakes Open at the uh, Toboggan course. So, yes, I imagine if I imagine if you reach out, he'll he'll make time to swing by. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, we got so we got 10 rapid fire questions that we want to uh, kind of fire off before we get to the end here. So these are just pretty, pretty quick questions. Uh, Roll through them. And uh, just quick answers on them. Let's do it. All right. First one, which pro disc golfer do you think would give you the biggest challenge in the ring? Oh, God. That's, I, I don't <laughs> – you guys got to throw some names out there. Are they, any, any, are they in that wrestle or fight? Uh, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> uh, Who do you think would be really, really tough? I, you, know, I, I, you know what? He's, he's not in your weight class, but Nico Lacastro is a pretty scrappy dude. Are you sure? I remember Nico from when he was a little kid. He didn't look that dude, scrappy. Dude, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I went to a tournament back in 2012. He was wrestling a dude named Riley Brenner, which, by the way, he might put up a, a pretty decent wrestling match. Okay. He's, well, maybe Nico got tougher. He, he Dude, he's yeah. a tough cat. Uh, okay. I mean, they, they wrestled after the round. Uh, Riley's easily at 180, and Nico's like a buck 40 soaking wet. <laughs> and he put up – I mean, he, he put up a good fight. He didn't take him down, uh, so I was impressed. Uh, that's funny. Okay, nice. That's good. Yeah, Nico goes way back. He, I think he beat me in the St. Louis Open, uh, shoot, many, 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 many years ago. That's a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. been around. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, he was a kid, though. I mean, it was annoying losing to a kid. <laughs> uh, favorite course Favorite course between uh, Toboggan and Funky Farms? Uh, well, Funky Farms is in its infancy. We don't, have, we don't have anything yet, so definitely Toboggan. That's an awesome course. I mean, there's, not, there's obviously not very many like it. Yeah. Um, it, you mean it's it's like a par? I think it's par sixty six or something to that effect, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's it's an awesome course. Most challenging opponent you faced, either in the ring or on the course? Ha. Huh. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously my last one was uh, against Robbie was the yeah. one where I had the most uh, trouble. I got to put myself in a bad spot early, and I was able to get out of it and get the win anyways. Yeah. Congrats on that win, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Lawler. Uh, one disc golf tournament that you'd love to play at some point. Um, well, I, you know, obviously I played the Am Worlds and the Am Nationals. I would, I was always like thinking that, you know, I didn't think about how I have a business and kids and would be super busy. So I always <laughs> thought I was going to play in the pro worlds eventually. Um, and I never got to. So you know what, like I said, maybe my kids will get into it, and then I can play like 
as a uh, Masters Divisions Pro <laughs> Worlds or something like that. Yep. That was, you know, one that I always thought was awesome. Masters Worlds. There we go. Uh, more exciting for you, knockout or submission? Oh, I, I don't know. I just choke people out. I don't submit anybody. <laughs> or I don't knock anyone out. Uh, funky Town or Uptown Funk? Funky Town. <laughs> uh, did you catch the latest Game of Thrones episode? I don't know. I don't watch that. <gasps> no. Sorry. Blasphemy. <laughs> Uh, day on the course or day in the ring? Oh, of course, for sure. Nice. Uh, one word you would use to describe Conor McGregor? Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> at this point, annoying. Annoying? <laughs> oh, that says a lot. <laughs> uh, and on Saturday, July 6th, are we going to get funky or are we going to get funky? I, th- I think there's only one answer to that question. Yeah. There is. <laughs> I have an answer to that question. Sweet. We still got Pat. I, I know if uh, I forget if Pat's on the other end, but let's get everybody to subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more content, uh, more videos from uh, awesome people like Ben. I think we're going to be branching out a little bit, uh, kind of outside of our usual Discraft bubble or maybe just kind of some fringes uh, like with Ben here. So make sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up to the video. Uh, and then I, what was the comment, Pat? We're going to have people comment uh, what they do outside of disc golf to be entered for the giveaway. I think he dissed you. But yeah, I thought it was yep. what, what sport they play that's not disc golf. Yeah, there we go. And we got some cool discs from uh, some cool P. McBee signature discs and then the hat from Wander that we will ship to one winner. So I think Pat's out of here. And I think it's just 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 me left. So I'm going to remind everybody. I'm going to remind everybody the most important thing. And it sounds like this was the most important thing for you too, Ben. You got to make that putt. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day. All right. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for joining. Yeah.